What's going on guys? As you can see, it's a pretty windy day out here. I'm at uh, River Hills Park and uh, I tried to choose a windy day because I wanted to show you guys how stable the GPS lock is on the uh, Hubson H501S. So we're going to go ahead and take it out here. Like I said, it's 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 pretty darn windy, man. It's, it's blowing good. 6-7. I think uh, right now we probably got about 10 mile per hour winds coming in. As you can see, the trees are moving pretty good. You can probably hear it in the microphone a little bit. It's, uh, it's definitely a good windy day out, and um, the trees up there are moving pretty hardcore. Uh, good gusts of wind coming in, so this is an excellent time to show you guys the GPS stability lock. We're going to wait until we get some satellites, a little bit of cloud cover, but I think we'll be good. So we get the Hubson out and get it ready. See you guys in a sec. All right, guys, the Hubson is now bound. I've been waiting for satellites. It took a minute to acquire them. I've got now 11 on the uh, X4 and I've got 7 on the uh, controller, so we should be good to take off. Like I said, it is still pretty windy. The winds are coming in at weird weird uh, intervals, but let's get this thing in the air and uh, see how well it handles the wind. Make sure all my controller settings are good. We're gravy. Let's see if it stays there even with the heavy wind. As you can see, the barometer is bouncing around a bit with the altitude because of the wind. But it's staying there. And that's some good wind coming in, guys. I'm not, uh, I'm not touching it. It's just chill zone. So the altitude is fluctuating because of the barometer. But uh, it seems to be holding its position pretty steady. It's, uh, it's jumping around a little bit. Let's send it up a little bit higher. Sorry guys, I had an incoming call there which cut off my camera, but even though the winds are still pretty strong right now, we're back to about, uh, I don't know, four or five mile an hour winds. The GPS is keeping it in pretty good position lock. It's, uh, altitude's still fluctuating a bit because of the barometer, but it's, uh, it's doing just fine. Those are some pretty good winds coming in. So for those of you that were saying that Hubson hasn't corrected the uh, stability problems with the GPS, I'm, I'm going to have to say that some of you guys really need to do some uh, information checking because that's that's uh, that wind's coming in pretty heavy and uh, the Hubson's chilling. I mean it's it's bouncing around a bit, but you know altitude and height, but it's uh, it's basically holding its position within I don't know about a foot. And it just keeps uh, going back to where it started. So. Yeah, guys, I'm, uh, I'm thinking that whoever said that was the case is not, not quite accurate. Let's turn on the camera and see if we can fly it a little bit. It is a little too windy for my taste, but we'll take things slow. We'll see how it does. Take it out over the field, and then we'll come back. It's uh, continuing to lose altitude, so we're going to take it up a bit again. That barometer seems to get a little confused when it comes to wind. Right here beautiful yeah so I mean it's it's bouncing around a bit but it's uh, it's 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 very windy it's still flying in the wind take it up again yep that barometer just that seems to be the only issue I'm having is that the barometer seems to uh, fluctuate the altitude because of the wind coming in but it can fly, and these are some good winds I'm flying in, guys. It seems to be able to do it. It's getting pushed around a lot, but it still seems to be able to fly in it. Let's take it over by the boat ramp and see how it does. See if it just stays there. Yeah, so I don't know, guys. That GPS lock is super stable, even with the wind going on, man. I wish the barometer was a bit better, but now, this is about the windiest part I can find out here. It's got the biggest straightaway with no uh, obstructions, and it's chilling, man. It's not going anywhere, it's just holding this position fix. Altitude's bumping still. But 
but that is officially the windiest spot that I can take you to. You guys can hear the wind whipping through the microphone, and it's staying right there. It's, it's moving around just a tad bit, but it's chilling. So there you go, guys. Some good wind coming in now. And it's chilling. It is very windy. Slicing through it like butter. That's me taking the altitude down, by the way. So what do you guys think? I think that was a ton of wind, man. I think we're good. I think we're gravy. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we've easily got 15 to 18 mile per hour winds out here. I believe Hubson has taken into account some of the stuff that they had problems with right off the bat, and they fixed it. I did end up with a newer version. Um, I will put the version number I have below. It came with a built-in uh, JST connector. So I believe Hubson has taken into consideration some of the problems that people have been talking about. And uh, the newer versions have a more uh, stable lock. I'm guessing that's firmware updates. Um, and, and they've really kind of gone out of their way to make sure this quad ended up being nice. Um, it's, it's unfortunate for the people that bought them right off the bat, but that's to be said with any system. When you get newer game consoles, they all have problems. You know, it's just it's one of those things you have to deal with. And over time, they're able to fix the issues. Um, I ended up with a newer version uh, that they had already thought of people that needed battery upgrades and stuff like that with the JST connector so pretty good but you know I've, I've been hearing a lot of complaints about the GPS just isn't stable guys I gotta tell you I've done nothing to this quad it is it is all I did was a battery update or a battery uh, modification to it for the TX controller and that's it other than that it's all stock standard and I gotta tell you man that GPS fix is like on dot the only thing that really irritates me is the barometer likes to fluctuate a lot but that's to be said with any altitude hole that has a barometer it's always going to fluctuate a little bit you know i wouldn't you you really wouldn't have to worry about it when you're on a high altitude because most of the time it's going to divert its way down if it's being blown because it's pitching into the wind which would cause it to kind of continue losing altitude as opposed to gaining um then again that depends on which direction you're pointed but uh, at the same time guys you can watch your telemetry on the screen so not really a big deal do i think the hubson gps has been fixed but i think they're doing a much better job of trying to cater to the needs of the people buying this yes i do uh, i really think that hubson tried to go out of their way to make sure they fixed all the problems that came with the quad so if you do happen to get a newer version man props to you guys if you don't then you have to do some firmware updates and battery modifications to the tx um, but other than that, guys, I, I feel like Hubson did do their best to fix the uh, issues at hand. No toilet bowl washout, no nothing. As long as it's got 10 satellites or more, it seems to really, really have a great position fix, and it seems to want to really hold its position with no issues. I think the most I saw it drift was about a foot, and we're talking 15 to 18 mile per hour winds out here. So props to Hubson, man. This is Drone Worship, and I'm out. If you guys have any questions, comment below and let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe, man. I don't make these videos for me. I make them for you guys. All right, toodaloo. Give yourself to the dark side.